Hey guys, how's it going? This is Alex with Algebra Help. I hope you are doing fine. And in today's video, guys, we'll be taking a look at how to update to iOS 8 Beta 1 for free without being a developer. So this is, I believe, a bug from Apple, and I do not know if it will stay for all of the betas or if it's just for Beta 1. However, this works, and uh, if you will try this, guys, please do it only for testing purposes only. Um, re you can register your UDI ID for a really cheap price and uh so that is the legal way of doing it however in this tutorial i'm going to be showing you how to do it for free all right let's begin so here i have my ipod touch fifth generation which is uh pretty much now my testing device and in here currently i have ios 7 however now i'm going to be updating it to ios 8 beta 1 just to try it out and to make new videos for you guys showing you the new features of ios beta 1 uh, so guys, I do recommend backing up your device in case anything happens, just so that you do not lose all of your information and just so that you can uh, restore your device and put your information back on it. Uh, you can, you first of all, you need to download your device's corresponding firmware, links will be down in the description below so that you can download them. And so, okay, let's go ahead and begin. So connect your device to your computer, back it up as I said before, uh, just for security reasons, and now click your iPod Touch. And um, what you need to do is you need to hold Alt on Mac, or I believe it's Control on Windows. Alt on Mac and click on Update, and this window will pop up. And locate your firmware. Mine is on my desktop. I always say Beta 1, and click on Open. And it's going to ask us if you want to update, click on Update. It is really important that you click on Update and not on Restore, because if you click on Restore, it will not work. And you will restore your device in vain. So now it is extracting the software and here's my iPod touch connected. So now it is finishing uh, extracting the software and it is now going to prepare my iPod touch for restore. So let's see what happens there. There is the Apple spinning logo and I believe now it'll begin to update my iPod touch, not restore it, my bad. So guys, if it took a little bit of time in uh, where it says verifying iPod restore, uh, iPod update, do not worry, uh, it will eventually jump to the next step as it did right here. And at this point, just wait for your iPod Touch to update. So guys, at this point, uh, your iPod Touch should be turning on and it already did all of the update and everything went successfully. So uh, hopefully for you, it goes the same as well. And now let's just wait for this to finish uh, booting up. There we go, we have the... Uh, white screen with the black apple and let's wait for this to finish so that we can go ahead and set up our iPod touch so there we go slide to upgrade so let's go ahead and slide to upgrade and check out there we go it asks me for my passcode let's go ahead and type that in and now it'll go ahead and just set up some options for us it shouldn't take that long so at this point it should be just um, upgrading the bar over there and it's just uh, restoring some settings and just uh, preparing your device so that you can use it with the new iOS 8 beta 1 because uh, beta 1 features some new applications so uh, you need to give the system time to install them in order to use them so guys as you can see right there uh, it eventually finished uh, doing the progress bar and now let's just wait for the iPod touch to reboot I believe and there we go almost done let's just wait for it a second and there we go the welcome screen so slide to set up again my passcode uh continue yep update completed your iPod touch has been updated successfully woohoo <laughs> okay uh there's my network click on next and for some reason it turned on bluetooth but all right uh we're just gonna disable location services uh, okay and okay let me just put it real quickly here okay so it it is updating the iCloud settings which there isn't really much to update, but all right. And now it is in find my iPod touch. I'm just gonna, yeah, use find my iPod touch, enable iCloud keychain. Uh, I'm probably gonna set it later. Yay, you get started finally. And there we go. Uh, pretty much iOS 7, but with some new features, which I'm gonna be um, discussing way by one by one in future videos. But just to prove you, this is iOS 8 beta 1. First leg that I saw. <laughs> okay, uh, first of all, the letter is a little smaller from what I see. Okay, but go to general about iOS 8. Yay, we are on iOS 8 beta 1. Woohoo! <laughs> right. uh, but so, yeah, from first impressions, uh, it really didn't, in the 
UI did not change much from iOS 7, but we have two applications. We have Bug Reporter and Health. And I believe iBooks is included now with iOS 8 Beta 1. However, guys, this has been all for this video. I really hope you did enjoy it and it has been useful for you. I'm gonna be posting new videos uh, covering features one by one. If you have any questions, please leave me down below in the comments and I will be sure to check them out and uh, try to answer them all. And I hope you have an amazing day, guys. I will catch you all in my next video. Bye-bye.